Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today I have for you guys a game that I had in the works a while ago, I think I maybe uploaded one or two videos of it, but today we'll be actually starting and finishing this Let's Play, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. A lot of suggestion of, um, starting long plays, which is going to, which are like hour-long videos, um, that are, like, just short games, but you finish them in an hour to two hour uploads. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, I won't do it. The Battle City Tournament is today, Solar. Good morning, Solar. Have you made your deck? Hey, my new deck is something special. It took me all night, but it's the best ever. Solar, did you put together a good deck? Hey, way to go. But I'm not about to lose today. We've all been waiting for this tournament. It's a, it, it would be great if we could all get to the finals. Yeah, you bet. Okay, let's get going. Don't want to be late. Okay. Uh, yeah, this game is really fun. I really enjoy it. Sacred Cards is one of those Yu-Gi-Oh games that, I, I don't know, had a unique feel to it. Ah, so we're all gathering here. Hey, look at that. Everyone's already here. Heh, look at all the tough duelists. Wow, this is exciting. Fellow duelists, welcome to Battle City. Let me explain the tournament's rules. The tournament takes place throughout Domino City. Wherever duelists meet in the city, that shall be where the duels take place. Duelists may play using only their own decks. The loser must turn over one rare card to the victor. Eight winning duelists will enter the final round. The final stage is hidden somewhere in town. Each of you duelists has received a locator card. You must defeat others and get their locator cards. When you have gathered six locator cards, you will have the map to the final duel stage. You may duel with those puzzle cards at stake. In other words, only those who win duels and obtain the six locator cards will earn the right to get up on the stage for the finals. The tournament commences at 9 a.m. sharp. Now fellow duelists, scatter through a battle city. Awesome. It's finally starting. Yeah, you bet. Even us, we're rivals from now on. Try to hang in the, to the end, Yugi and Solar. I'll do my best, too. Don't get caught careless. Joey, I think you should be careful yourself. Ha ah, ah, ha, don't worry about me. Once you've collected all the cards, let's meet up. We should get together at my grandpa's toy shop. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Alright, I'm off. Both of you, don't lose until the finals. See you. Okay, and now what we have to do is we actually have to press the duel button, which is, I think, L or R. It might be R. It's not 9 o'clock yet, Solar. I should be going, too. Go for it, Solar. Yeah, you have to press the R button, which is the duel button on all the main duelists. So, like, Rex Raptor here. Share, but wait. I'll duel when the time comes. But I don't duel anyone who's too uncool. It'd be a waste of time. Okay, uh, Bones. <laughs> I hate bright places like this. I'll be waiting for you somewhere dark. Until then. Huh? Well, he's off. Ah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you impatient? The tournament hasn't even started. We'll feast on you the next time we meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate freaking Weevil. And as goons leave too. Anyone up here? Oh, Mako. Wait, wait. It's not time yet. We'll meet again somewhere in Battle City, bro. You know, I like how he's not, like, super mean or anything, but... You know, there's Tristan. I don't think we need to talk to him. Oh, there's Mai. Whoa, slow down, baby. I'll take you on if the opportunity arises. See you. Okay. Who are we missing? I think I pressed the right button on you. Yeah, I don't think he moves. No, yeah, he doesn't move. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Okay, let's just press B to run. There's the... Why is there just a random graveyard? Like, that, that doesn't make sense. It's very unnerving, at least. Oh, apparently we go that way. Hey, it's starting! Okay, let's go! I won't lose! Sure, 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 it's about time! Joey Wheeler, you just wait! I am the Duel King. This is where I prove it. Did this randomly all show up here? 
So yeah, now we can actually battle. So let's start by fighting Tristan. Roar! It's a duel! And we'll put a... Uh, how about Tama... Blah, 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 Tomazaurus. So anyways, um, it's his turn. He'll put a monster in defense mode. Let's activate Mui and Curry to gain some life points back. And now this game is weird because you won't have a lot of high attack monsters. Um, monsters of certain types have advantages over others. And you have a deck limit in this. Not like card limit, you do have like a 40... I think you have to have 40 exactly in this game. But I mean like there is a point system where you can only have certain a, certain, a total of certain cards. So if a card is really powerful, like a level 4 but with 19 on attack power, it is really hard to get into your deck. So we'll use Frog the Jam to attack whatever that is, being Mechanical Spider. So, and then you just press B to end your turn. And Tristan is a really good one though to start your start practicing on. And then he has a Sinister Serpent. And very few creatures have abilities in this game, so you won't have to worry about that. But I really do like this game. It is very quick paced, and it probably won't be a long LP. We can activate Pot of Greed to draw two cards. Um, then we can summon Morin Fen. So we'll get rid of you for Morin Fen, and then we'll attack with Frog the Jam, destroying Uguchi. And we can do 1550, which is really good damage in this game right now. As long as he doesn't get, I think, some kind of light creature can defeat it. Um, we'll summon Witch's Apprentice. Witch's Apprentice is the next best we have. And then we'll just deal some decent damage. Like, you do have 8,000 life points, which sometimes sucks in this game because your monsters are generally really low attack. And we'll summon Abyss Flower. And yeah, Steel Scorpion. Boohoo. I don't think we're. No, we're not gonna win this turn either. Like, we get close to winning, but no cigar. Oh, whoops. Close, but no cigar, at least. <laughs> um, well, how about we sacrifice you? to play you, and then, no, 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 we'll attack with you, swordsman from a foreign land, and then we'll just win with swords, or with saber slasher, oh, hang on a sec, guys, and I just had to reply, anyways, our opponent is out of life points, dual victory, deck capacity increased by 5, see, that's what I mean, 153 domino, and we got sky dragon, which is a level 5, 19, 18, uh, level 6, I mean, level or 18, 19, so that card might actually be worth putting. And he wants to duel again, so um, let's go to our deck and see what we can replace. Um, I'm thinking one of our weakest cards being... Oh gosh, you, you suck, so... And then we'll go to our trunk, and then we'll go to... Where is Sky Dragon? Sky Dragon, where are you? Blue Eyes. Oh, okay, wait, hang on. Is there like a way to, um... Uh, stars, I guess? Oh, there you are, Sky Dragon. And... No, move to deck. Well, now we have enough to duel again, so let's go find another duelist. A lot of times these guys only fight once, though. Alright, we'll have a match. And we'll put up... Sh no, wait, no. Uh, yeah, I'll put up Shadow Spectre as our anti. It's his turn. Summons Griggle in attack mode. Well, that's weak. We'll start off with Mask of Darkness. Weakling. You dare challenge us. And I'm gonna probably keep these videos not too long. Uh, so, Morphing Jar or Penguin? Eh, Penguin's better, so we'll use Penguin. It's just a Queen's double, so nothing too threatening. And we'll just end our turn. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Pot of Greed, can't really use. Uh, two Tributes are required. Okay, whatever. Um, I'll summon you. Uh, jar of more morphing jar. Sorry, I was gonna say jar of greed, but that's the trap card. Like, see, we're not winning that fast because of our low attack monsters. It's not like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh generation or 
Legacy of the Duels. Now that game is tough. Oh, sweet. So let's sacrifice you to play you. No, I don't want to activate that. Then we can activate Pot of Greed. See what we get. House of Adhesive Tape. And then we'll attack with you. It's Ancient Jar. So that's pretty weak. And then we'll attack with Sky Dragon. Now that is a lot of attack power in this game right now. I don't mind getting that Sky Dragon. And then we'll sacrifice you for Sandstone. And then we'll just attack with our other cards. And eh, Dark Plant. What's that going to do to me? And I'll finish you off. So yeah, this game, as you guys can clearly tell, isn't going to be that difficult. Deck capacity increased by 5, 83 Domino, and we got more in Fen, which we already have. So we'll just use that as anti. Tch, I lost that. Okay. What about you? A duel with me? Well, okay, but not very strong. I don't care. I'm going to get you with my more in Fen. And more in Fen. More. In there you are. Hopefully we get a good card with this. It's our turn, apparently. So we'll send out the Wandering Doomed. And no, no. I'm just going to leave it in attack mode. And he's got nothing. So we'll send out you. And then we'll attack with Abyss Flower. Which looks like Dark Flower, but slightly different. And then we'll end our turn. Anyways. Eh, frog the Jam. You can come out. Griggle, and just some more weak cards to deal with. Man, these guys are weak. Okay. I hate that you have to click A to actually get through the, the text, which is kind of an, a nuisance, but whatever. Kind of a nuisance, jeez. Um, Skeletal is activated, one card will be drawn from the deck. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a pretty good group of monsters right now, like 800, 750, 7, and then a 9, but he can't attack the turn he activates his ability, so it's kind of a bummer. So then we'll get rid of you for more and Fen. Attack with Fizz Flower, just an arm ninja without its ability in this game, so that's kind of a joke. And next turn we will win. I think after this we can get one more duel in before I call it a video. I do have to meet the girlfriend later on, so I'm not quite sure how long I have to record. So, that that's a factor, guys. And there we go. Duel victory. Your deck capacity increased by 5, 332 dom. That's a lot of money. And Nightmare Scorpion, which is a 900-800. So, actually, I might put that in. So let's go to the deck, and we'll get rid of, um, well, Sinister Serpent, you seem pretty bad, so, and then Nightmare Scorpion can move to the deck. Yeah, see, Nightmare Scorpion had quite a huge, uh, um, point requirement. So anyways, let's duel you. I'll duel with anyone. Bring it on. Well, I hope you're ready to lose, because I'm going to ante up my... Uh, my Morn. Where's my Morn Fen? I always forget that Morn Fen is way down here. It's our turn. We'll activate this to get 200 life points. Really not that good. And we'll summon Dharma Cannon, which is a 900 attack power. Mo oh, Magician of Faith being light defeats it. That, that's a bummer. So we'll summon Mechalian. Uh, Mechalian. And we'll defeat the Magician of Faith. Um, 400, 350. Oh man, her cards are so weak at this point. Like, in our hand. I think Bone Mouse and Griggle are next to go in our deck. Anyways, we got Witch's Apprentice, which isn't that weak, but. Oh, of course, it's tied for stats. And we'll just end our turn. Okay, let's see what we got. Doran Doran, which we can activate the ability. And now it cloned. While we may not be able to attack with it this turn, we get to attack with the next turn. 
has <laughs> so little damage. He's not even halfway defeated yet. And do we have anything we can sacrifice? No, we can't sacrifice any of these cards. Amoeba, okay. Well, at least now he's going to be down past half, which is good. Three, that'll be at 2100. Like, Doran, Doran, or not Doran, Doran, just Doran is actually a very, very good card. When I think of it, I think of, like, Dora the Explorer. I don't know why. I just really do. We'll do that, attack with you, and then finish you off with the exactly 800. Dual victory. Your deck capacity increased by 5, 100 domino, and obtain a G Arganon. A being that uses its illusory spells to beat foes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So before I end this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the sucky cards in my deck. So, um, Mylas Radiant can go, and Griggle can go right now. Oh, and Queen's Double, so then... Go to the trunk. We can add this Tomazaurus, which is better. And then we can add Geenin, which isn't bad. And then what else do we have that's somewhat good? White Dolphin, Turu, Turu, Buru, Buru. Anyways, he. Psh, psh. Let's go with Starboy right now. So that ends off this episode, and in the next episode, we will continue dueling around Battle City. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode.